Hi guys, welcome to the fourth free to play podcast. Uh, I am Pause, first player max free to play. I'm Freckled Kid. I just maxed free to play. Dance. Potato. Oh, I'm uh, Dance Dance Potato, level three, rank two, or I mean I guess rank three, level three uh, free to player. I'm a Kiji up and playing for the better part. <laughs> oh god. Yeah, Did anybody get that? Wait, is that was that out? Yeah. Yeah, you got Say it. Say that again. Alright. Oh, uh, you have to read fuck. Alright. I'm a Kiji up and playing for the better part of ten years. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, I am Bakto 220 I am the legend of RS3. <laughs> Currently I'm rank, rank 1 because Manor Nap is gone from, oh, he's back to high scores, but the high score is broken and you are gone after 90 days, so I'm number 1 now, the best RST player, woo! Wow, congrats, <laughs> dude. Damn. Nice. Um, yeah, thanks to Jagex, yeah, because their system is great to hide bots. <laughs> um, I'm Tanner, and I like to kill Moss Giants, and I'm rank 1 Briarfighter. Casey. All right, Freckle's got a question from Twitter, I, I, I assume. Yes, uh, at old school RS asks, we are ruining free to play with adding agility. God. Cool. Oh, is that the question? Yeah. <laughs> do, do we pop oh. it? Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> here we go. Here we go, boys. If anybody doesn't know what that was, that was all of us taking a nice drink. <laughs> we are now alcoholics. <laughs> yep. Okay. <laughs> In the context to that... <laughs> uh, we thought that was... Uh... Yep. So, what happened, if you didn't know already, if you, haven't, if you don't read news posts, like I don't pretty much the majority of the time, but this one was particularly devastating um they released a new player experience blog which uh intends to fix some of the early game issues for uh new players but the thing is uh they decided that they're not going to be pulling any of these things because quote unquote it will take too long so yep that's that's what's happening here and they also decided to force a few things into the game uh for uh, this state of PvP blog, uh, and one of those things is something that has been pulled three times, free to play tally block, and uh, yeah, that's getting forced into free to play now after failing a poll three times. <laughs> and uh, Barto yeah, is very I'm, happy about that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> what is this? Okay, what is going on? Somebody messed up the <laughs> doc. What? Yeah, somebody totally just messed up the document, but okay. Okay, Freckle, you're, you're first. The the question, I think, is supposed to be initial reactions to seeing these blog posts. Yeah, that's totally what it's supposed to be. We'll just uh, get that out of there. People don't have to type in the... Uh, oh, yeah, good stuff. <laughs> anyway... <laughs> Um, my initial reactions are clearly that I don't like uh, agility at all. I think it's going to be miserable for free to play. Um, it kind of ends up adding a lot of unnecessary grind to free to play. They're trying to solve the problem of getting around to the game, but that doesn't solve it. That just makes you be able to run for long you're still going to traverse the game the exact same way. So, I just think accessibility is greater than having an agility skill added. Just make things more accessible to getting around, 
and then you've solved your issue. As far as like the newbie things, I mean it doesn't really impact the game that much, so who really cares? The tele block thing, I mean it okay, failed. Wait, 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 freckled, freckled. We have yes. many other questions. This is just, what are your initial reactions to this? It's bad. Okay. <laughs> like, yeah. All right. That's good. All right. All right. Uh, Dan's, are you going? Or? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. Sorry. Uh, yeah, my initial reaction was uh, all uh, updates that aren't my like quality of life to free to play, so. You know, I, like if they have like gnome copters or something like that added, you know, that wouldn't be that big of a deal. But uh, and uh, you know, like no new players gonna like, grind out anything like that. It's only gonna affect like actual play players. And then the tail block thing, I didn't, I don't really care. So um, I don't know if I'm All right. Um, I was like really shocked. Cause I, I woke up, I was like, am I still dreaming or something? Like, I didn't even think Jagex would even do something like this. Uh, that's it. Yeah, I'm, <clears throat> I'm pretty shocked at this. Like, I, to be honest though, I don't know why I am at this point. Like, we've seen it countless amount of times and like members, them just doing just absolutely ridiculous stuff. Like, just for example, like, I think... I feel like the first tip of the iceberg was uh, NMZ, like way back in the day, um, that happening, and then they just didn't nerf it forever, and then they didn't even like, yeah, they they didn't fix Gothic or not Gothics, Guthans, uh, for like over a year, and I don't know, it's just like, I'm not, I don't know why I was surprised to be honest, but apparently their their new stance is just uh, forcing stuff into the game, so. Yeah, I have a similar opinion to Paul. It's, and if we just look on the timelines, I mean, when did they introduce clues? Like a month and a half ago, two months ago? And then now there's another major update. So it sounds like it's a slippery slope. If you introduce one piece of content, you just start introducing the next ones faster and faster. And that was my initial reaction. All right. <clears throat> so putting aside your feelings for the proposed changes, do you think Jagex's actions are justifiable? Uh, do you think it's ever appropriate to make changes to the game without a poll? Um, my own personal opinion of this, uh, I guess there could be a situation where something needs to be changed um, for the, the better integrity of the game, but actual integrity, not just uh, we need to revive the, the wilderness and free-to-play, so let's just force Teleblock into the game without a poll. I think there are like potentially better ways to fix that without having to break their underlying reason for creating old school runescape to begin with this game was meant to be something that wasn't going to be ruined by jx uh <coughs> due to <laughs> poor jana he, he understands this firsthand um yeah <clears throat> i remember your t update <laughs> yeah like yeah it was like the majority of players were against it, obviously. There's a yeah, like just their their design towards the game sometimes I don't know comes with uh, their own like selfish interests in mind, and that can be an issue. Uh, but like I don't know, I, I feel like obviously the players don't know what's best for the game in some cases, and also JX doesn't know what's best for the game in some cases. But I think what the majority thinks is probably. <laughs> in the best interest of the game rather than what they think so polling should always be should always be behind uh any sort of game change in my opinion and um it, as for something that like would have to be forced into the game i think something like bug related that you know for some reason the players won the game i guess you could say that about like three tick fishing or whatever but like let's be real here Okay, next person. Okay, yeah, I see the point. Uh, like, uh, so, yeah, I know Jags, obviously, that they always make some weird moves that no one can expect, and they did it at this point. 
personally don't like uh, the polling system. I think that, for instance, about the tele tele block, it was like P2P players were able only to vote about uh, about the free to play thing. So I generally don't like it, and I would like to see something like a change, some kind of a change in the poll that free to play players are also able to vote. Well, I don't, I don't mean like every single free to play player because you know I have 200 accounts, so then I would just destroy this poll. <laughs> but I mean like. Uh, some kind of a you know a requirements to vote i don't know a certain time of play in order to vote so that you know free to play players will be able for instance to vote on free to play updates that's it i think that that would, that, sh that should be made like obviously i i i see that jax is making some some mistakes like they just make those uh like they did with uh, this uh Force update right now, and yeah, it's Jagex. But I, I just want to say that I would love to see something like a different, a, a difference in a poll system, so that would also have an option to vote. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think part of the reason the game has continued to grow the way it is is the organic community of players. And when you vote on things, you feel like you have like a say what's going on. There's some kind of added integrity to the game. When you feel like you have a little bit of control and you can kind of nerf things if you don't agree with it. And it's also a great way to get immediate feedback. So if they want to completely cut out that cycle and cut out feedback from the people paying for their game or even the free-to-play community who are active members who probably bring other people to the game, they can choose to do that. But like Paul said, it needs to be a way to differentiate which updates don't need to be pulled, like say a typo or some kind of weird spawn item or something like that, compared to basically game changing updates like this. And that's all I have to say. Mm -hmm. um, I think I'm, I really wanted them to pull agility, but I don't really care to make Teleblock free to play without pulling it because PvP Worlds is out. <laughs> And also mobile, so like, there's a lot of like, more there's a lot of new people, and things are more likely to pass because of mobile. The last time they pulled agility, I mean not uh, not agility, uh, teleblock. It was before PVP worlds and mobile. So. Hey, I don't. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, dude, I got this stuck. <laughs> <laughs> so slow. So yeah, I don't, uh, I don't really, you know, really care that much. I mean, free to play doesn't have a vote on polls, so anyway, so you know, bother me too much. I mean, I guess as far as that goes, you know, we can't vote on what uh, you know free to play updates and stuff like that that we want. And uh, it would be cool, like what Jane said, if. Uh, like there was like some sort of way, like a time play or something like that, or like a the not as like level. maybe like eighty green crafting or, or higher, <laughs> something like that. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be pretty cool. But uh, you know, but aside from that, it's like I, you know, I it is kind of a slippery slope to start adding you know updates into the game that have already failed polls. Yeah, I have to agree with basically everything that's been said here, but. To kind of elaborate, we've kind of seen like a trend with this. So we've seen from them wanting to take the poll and make it hidden results so that we can't see poll results. Uh, um, we asked for that, which is something we should have had forever ago. But as soon as we get this, they now are really just pushing their own agenda. So the only real reason that they decided to hide poll results in the first place was to just to be able to pass things that they wanted in the game for their own sake. Which is very clear because now they decided to come out in the open and just decide what they want in the game is good. I think it's a really bad turn that uh, the Jagex is really pulling right here because the whole game has been dictated around the player base and what things we want in the game. And for that to just all of a sudden change, I think we're going to end up seeing some really crappy content come out into the game. All right. So uh, one thing before we get into the next questions I wanted to do was uh, we asked Ash on Twitter about this um, agility thing because it was a little unclear. Uh, if you didn't read the 
the news post, it seems uh, just kind of like, I don't know, what they started off by saying, like, these things aren't going to be pulled, and then they just said a whole bunch of stuff. So, like, w like it didn't really make much sense, like, if everything was not going to be pulled or just, like, certain things. So I asked on Ash on Twitter um, if agility was going to be pulled uh, or if it was, like, a sure thing. <clears throat> and I'm just going to read this tweet uh, here. He said... We've not actually decided which of the various design ideas to pursue regarding the transport thing, let alone how to go about pitching it. A player survey may be necessary to guide this decision, at least to see which of the available approaches is most supported. Uh, I guess I could go on. Uh, no, no, it's fine. Anyway, it basically it seems kind of unclear um, whether agility is... I don't know, he, he made it seem like it's not it's not a sure thing at the moment, but it's kind of something that they're leaning towards um so uh, anyway we we attempted to to sway his opinion in favor of something else um, uh hold on one moment i think yeah okay so i'm not first uh so anyway the, the question is um if agility comes to free to play what can you see changing and uh with the skill or to current free to play methods Yeah, so with the if agility became free to play, I feel like it would affect uh, level three accounts more than it just you know teleport everywhere, breaking. Like it would be the the first thing you have to do is you know get nine agility before doing anything else. I, I just think it would you know kind of and it would like ruin all my like I would lose all my you know hours if I've done recrafting. Done it like twice as fast or something. Yeah, I mean, I have the same opinion as Dan's. It sounds like something you just have to do first for the majority of skills to get the new HP rates. And it's just another kind of grindy skill. They're probably capped early, like, I don't know, 20k an hour, 30k an hour. It should be another grindy skill. So. Yeah, all in all, the skill would be have to be trained before certain other ones. I mean, for regulars, like, me and Paws, you'd want to do that before doing, like, Smithing, RC, fire making. Uh, I mean, if you want to run during fire making, or do any multi skilling with it. Um, so it's it's a skill that like in the long term people don't see like everything that it impacts, but it does impact quite a lot as well as it being the slowest skill that would be in free to play if it came in at the rates that it is now. For, for for regulars so what i could see changing is potentially them adding different styles of courses and not just having the uh rooftop courses that would be in free-to-play zones so maybe we'll see like various... we've made a course on the deep will be <laughs> yeah i don't know like maybe there'll be various styles of courses or stuff like that that they might add to the game or like little mini game style things for people to do with agility but i have no idea yeah i would be so happy if they actually uh, added that with a the wilderness agility course what can you what can it change uh well we got those uh energy potions already right yeah so for regulars it should not really change a lot, I guess. Am I right? <laughs> yeah, it like... just basically makes everything that you run during just a little cheap. Right. That's true. Doing, like something far away from a bank, like in um, Hobgoblin Mine. Oh, yeah. The alternative spot. Yeah, that's the only thing. But yeah, generally, I, I think that... Yeah, I, I don't really care right now about agility, so for me it's like... Well, whatever will happen, then I will just accept. Accept it. That typical on. RS3 player. Complacent. <laughs> yeah, I'm just accustomed that. Yeah, you know, I'm just accustomed that Jack is making something and then I can't do anything with that. So. <laughs> just a hundred percent complacent. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, things I could see changing is. Boneyard for Iron Man, it would boost XP a lot for that. Runecrafting, 
and then crafting a little bit, and then smithing. Superheating is going to be faster, of course. But um, it could impact Ringer Foraging and how good it is, because you can actually do the Falador course um, while banking iron, which could like be like really overpowered, because you can regenerate around at the Falador course. So since you're getting one to one EHP at Falador course, you can practically just get like it would just be so worth it. Negating the the lack of magic XP from Ring of Forging and stuff. So it could impact the smithing skill for Iron Man like greatly. Yeah, so I think a majority of um things that could change have been said, but uh like yeah, Iron Man. I think it affects the most. Obviously, uh, regulars not too much. Um, I think for me, like in particular, uh, I probably would stop um, superheating with mining, just so I could just like alk with Matt alk during agility. Like that'd be so much easier. And to be honest, like Tanner's talking about like a bunch of multi skilling ideas, but like I personally wouldn't do those just because agility is like so like relaxed like i don't want i don't want to add that like on top of what would it be like six thousand hours or seven thousand with the current yeah, rate eight thousand eight thousand like i'm not going to be doing a multi-skilling berry you know method with with agility for that long <laughs> i mean so. it, would be, it would be less than eight thousand if they buff it i can see them buffing elder course yeah it's we'll we'll get into that um so the next question is uh, what are your what are some of your own thoughts about agility coming free to play? Like, what what have you been thinking about it since they've talked about it? Yeah, uh, um, so it seems the main reason they want agility to be in the game is to kind of get players around faster in free to play. Ash seems to believe it's one of the largest problems and one of the main reasons people quit. So I can understand implementing a system that makes it easier for players to get around, but it seems like their temporary solution is agility. Uh, I think it's a bit flawed because I don't think a new player will automatically start training agility, which would be the ultimate goal is to get around faster. Mm. So maybe if they implement a system, I know they mentioned like, teleports and all these other mechanics, but honestly a buff to the beginner's map or maybe a tutorial on how to use the world map could probably get the same effect without changing the game as much for free to play. But it seems in their general interest they want to retain players, especially those on mobile where it's hard to move around. That seems to be the ultimate goal of agility. So I think there's another way to do it, but this seems to be the way they've chosen. Yeah, so, uh, you know what? Go, skip me for now. Go ahead, Bruggle. Crap. <laughs> <laughs> Absolute shit. Fucking oh. sucks. Um, I could go on, but I'll move on to the next person. <laughs> okay. <laughs> My initial thought about free play agility was that it was, you know, pretty awful, but about it was like you know they can only add one pay to play skill to free to play the other ones that were being suggested were like fletching or like slayer but like agility would be like the most useful skill if they were to add like one member skill to free to play i'll, would, I'll uh, agree with that in the very slightest if anything has to come from pay to play yeah. at least it's that one right yes yeah, and they wouldn't they wouldn't add a second skill after they had one skill because it's pretty game breaking. The players you know I mean? want that, at least. If the players want it. Yeah, actually, you never know what Jack will do. What? You never know what Jags can do. Yeah, exactly. Like that's true. And Kiji and I were talking before the podcast on Freckle stream, and like, honestly, like I can see them doing anything because they're just like. Like Akiji was talking about like this slippery slope thing. They started with like a few a few updates and it's literally like if you look at it, it's progressively like increasing exponentially, like the amount of updates coming to free to play and a, a certain amount of those are members stuff just being pushed into free to play. So Well agility's a whole skill. These are just like small updates. I mean I I guess if they like it's just kinda like it's like such a big thing to add new skills to free to play. I really don't think the players would want that. 
And I feel like if they added like half the member skills to free to play, then people would not like that at all. Back to the order. Hello. I think we're on Bardo. Yes. Oh, it's me now. Okay. Yeah. So as I said, sorry. As, as, I, as I've said before, uh, I don't really care at this moment about agility. There's no jagex. Also, as I've said before, uh, I know that the game will become easier and easier. So, about agility, let's see what will happen. Uh, what curses will be available? What Will that change? We'll see, yeah, so at this moment I just don't care. Thanks. Um, I don't want any new skills to free-to-play, like, agility is probably the best one, because fletching would just change woodcutting, like, so greatly for Iron Man, and then um, Slayer would just be way too hard to implement, like, they, they're like guaranteed gonna mess up if they add Slayer to free to play. It's like almost impossible for them to do it like well. So that's just what I think. So one thing I think, if like they do it at agility, um, there's something that I feel like the the XP rate probably should be changed to begin with because like I don't know, it just seems so uneven like comparing. What Falador to what's the course above that? Whatever that is, it's like Sears Village yeah, it's it's quite a bit just because of the diary. It just yeah, it, it doesn't really make much sense. So Sears is like almost double yeah. an hour the Fal yeah. is. I think so, we should make Falador like more. Yeah, I so like what I was thinking. I think maybe like I think thirty five to forty k would be appropriate. Um, I don't know. What what do you guys think about that? Yeah, that'd be much more in line with the rest of the courses, but yeah. unfortunately still remains the slowest skill in free to play. For regular slowest accounts. skill is HP. <laughs> <laughs> Fair point. We're crafting. Yeah. Dan's yeah. Always... Um, so I feel like I had so much more to say about that, but... um. Another so uh, what I forgot to mention at the beginning of this podcast, which is something I probably should have remembered, was uh, uh, that this is going to be like kind of a different style than usual. Um, we are uh, attempting to do like a sort of organic podcast. Like uh, we have a few questions here, but we mainly just wanted to talk about the uh, newest new news posts and uh, stuff with that. So I don't think we really have what what is this? Oh, okay, Kiji added a question. Okay. So we're going to move on to this one, I guess. <laughs> Looks like I'm going first. Uh, potential of tasks slash achievement diary being implemented in free-to-play, yes or no? Well, this is a yes or no question, okay. Uh, not not very thought-provoking. <laughs> no, that was the question into the podcast. So not, you don't have to say yes or no and okay. move on. <laughs> um, yeah, to be honest, like I would really like... Uh, I think an achievement diary, okay, for one, R3 free to play, if you didn't already know, has uh, Lumbridge achievement diaries. Uh, do they have all of them, Barto, or just Easy's? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> You've never done them? Oh, wow. No, 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 I've done, yeah, I guess we have, you know, for Lumbridge, we can do probably everything. Yeah. I have no idea. Okay. I didn't read Kara. I only play for XP at the end of this oh. on, on R3. <laughs> better than all of us um yeah i think they they might have up to hard or whatever the highest is i'm not positive on that but they do have it in free to play um and they do have cabbage teleport that's one thing that i think would be nice to have um that was something we didn't really talk about was uh the whole like accessibility thing anyway we can get back to that after this i guess um so like i can see them doing it i guess actually you know what they would they would really have to like they would have to like cut some stuff out of it just because there's there's a lot of like members content in it they didn't really consider free to play when they were coming out with achievement diaries because i think it was a long time ago um and before free to play came out so um I, actually i don't i don't know about that but i know um 
we we're talking about maybe like a task system i think that would be that would be appropriate what is this <laughs> <laughs> okay just <laughs> interrupting <laughs> bug <Yeah>. um <laughs> all right pause this talking what did you say <laughs> no, no no i'm done next person you're oh, done okay. all right i'll i'll go um i'm not opposed to a task system which is shocking because i don't really like the idea of any updates in free to play but as long as it's not something that's like i don't like what they proposed in the blog of like being able to like go and do some like random tasks and be awarded like various items i don't like that that um but like because it kind of gives players various things they could train with that they didn't earn really in the same manner that the rest of the players have played the game so i don't like that but i'm okay with the idea of a, of a task system being in place that kind of introduces players to things that they can do in the game i'm totally okay with that like i wouldn't want to call it like a lumbridge diary but like maybe just like a like tutorial diary or like beginner yeah. diary i don't know what it would be called but just something that's a little bit more broad about the entire game just from a free-to-play perspective so that it's more introductory would be extremely valuable to new players and if they wanted to add some kind of traversal thing around the game to that as a reward that would be something to solve the issue because you would teach players how to get around and then you'd solve the issue with I don't know, a multi-purpose item to get around to major cities or something of the sorts. Like a, almost like a canoe system, but maybe slightly different. I don't know. But it, it needs to, it needs to come from something that like is something you work for. Not just here, newbie players have a way to get around from city to city right away. I think a more so extended task list that players could get into would be beneficial. Well, I think that yeah, I'm I'm okay with that as long as as long as it is not going to to change the game like add something incredibly strong and yeah, but uh, when when it is just quite a uh, you know uh, irrelevant then. And I don't care, and it can be free to play. <laughs> That's it. And I think it would make sense, you know, to like try to get mobile people to become members by having like a free to play diary. Oh, what's the Lumbridge diary? Now I can, it's like a, like a pay to play content that's a uh, pay to play. But uh, I really don't care because I probably won't be able to do like half of them anyway, so. Yeah. Fair point. Um, I'm more than happy to have it in free to play if, like, as long as it doesn't affect the meta, like how uh, Barto said. But um, like, if they added this, like, think about it. They like this will like distract everyone from like all the game breaking updates. So like, if they're more focused on like updates, that, like, wouldn't really like affect the game that much and it would just like be like cool for like new people to come in i think that would be like really cool yeah i agree with tanner and it may not even have to be like an achievement diary or a task system just some way to revitalize old content like remington like they could put a notice board somewhere in the city and they could give out tasks near the city because i mean think about it. they have a mining spot they have quests nearby they have all those different resources near remington and I think if we just like came up with a good name like rim jobs, like something that you can just do and get used to. And once you get a certain amount of rim jobs, you can get rewards and whatnot. And it's so easy to implement a mechanic like rim jobs that every player is familiar with instead of an achievement diary, I think would be better received. So if everybody starts doing rim jobs, I think it'll catch on. But okay. I'm going to have to agree that because I think new players would vote yes to rim jobs. 
I mean, it's just like a notice board, and you do a different task, and then you get a rim job. Yeah, you get a job from rimming. <laughs> I'd do that. No, I'd actually, I would actually go out of my way to do that. I love rim. That was just. <laughs> oh. I mean, there's a big opening in the middle of Remington that's like a hole, so it's perfect. I mean, just put it near the well. Just put the rim job right there. That caught me off guard. I was waiting for that the whole podcast. I completely forgot he was going to do that. What's wrong with rim jobs? <laughs> Oh, the comments are just going to be filled with cringe, cringe, cringe. Cringe. I know it. Scripted, scripted, by the way. <laughs> Alrighty. Um, do we want to move on to Akiji's proposed questions, dot, dot, dot? I don't know. Just up to you guys if you want to answer more. <laughs> well, I guess there's a, a few things well, I wanted to, to ask specifically because we have some guests in the podcast. Uh, oh, yeah, one more thing. I keep forgetting things. Uh, Bargain was supposed to... Well, actually, he wasn't supposed to be here, but he said he might be able to show up. Um, so if he just drops in, that's why. Uh, and another thing, um, we have some guests, so I figured I might as well ask some questions to our guests because people from YouTube might not know about them. Um, so I guess we can start with uh, Janae. A honin. I have I have a question for you that I, I'm just curious about. Like, what are your what are your intentions with with old school? Like, because uh, I know right now you're just training range, like AFK. I know you're you're probably making money on the side. I'm assuming for buyables or whatever. But like, do you plan on playing old school for a while? Like, are you gonna get 200 mil all or like what are you going for exactly? <laughs> okay, uh, <laughs> not at this moment. I obviously don't have a plan to go for 200 mil all. At this moment, I only want to go for 200 mil range, and then I will see what I want to do next. But you know, it's like uh, I don't really want to repeat the whole whole you yeah, know, story of going for two for 200 mil XP in all skills. I I just want to be first in something, let's say, because you know, I don't know if you know, but in RS3, I I didn't manage to get a first place in any skill because I actually focused on on things that were the most worth to train at certain moment. I was just Training some skills that when they were fast before before some update and I was just training it. I didn't care about ranks. I only wanted to train everything. Well, you know when it was quite fast and yeah, I was like training it. Only want to go for this 200 mil range. Maybe I don't know 200 mil mage, but it will probably take a bit longer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, DJ Nine yeah. is about to get uh, 200 mil mage pretty soon. Yeah, um, yeah. Know know he said tomorrow. Oh, he tomorrow. tomorrow. Holy cow. I said tomorrow. Wow. Congrats, DJ. You oh, uh, managed uh, to, to click less and get a 200 mil. That's pretty impressive, man. <laughs> That's all I got. More hours and click. Pause is so bitter. <laughs> a little bit bitter. <laughs> Pause was first in Magic XP for the longest time. A very long time. Anyway, it's just bitter. Uh, aren't you like third now? Isn't there a guy? Uh, yeah, Dan, like, did you pass me or. Probably did. Yeah. No. He must be fourth. Because there, oh. there's this one random. He, he has like. That guy is. I'm pretty sure that guy's. Mage. That guy's members. I'm pretty sure. No, I, I don't know. I mean, <laughs> oh, that's he's, he's a 200 mil mage guy? guy? Yeah, his name is 200 mil mage. Yeah, I was wondering. I've never heard about this guy. And then he, he suddenly appeared on the high scores when I was checking yeah. mage high scores. I think it's because yeah, he was like zero HP. HP. He's got to be members, right? Nah, I can't really assume. I mean. I would assume. Yeah. Because Snooze, he said he saw that guy in like World 308 Anvil a lot. Uh, does that mean anything though? Because like, I feel like that's Snooze that's is, he's pretty good friends with Bargain. Maybe the, the lie is rubbed off on him. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Nice. But Dan, so what are, what are your goals for the future then? Since mm -hmm. You're new on the podcast. Like right now, I just want to get maybe like it'd be cool to get like uh, nine nine mining. <laughs> Is that what 90, you're doing? Uh, 
Nine, <laughs> it'll give me like 90 rune crafting if I do that. Maybe nice. on the side, you know, just get a little 99 rune craft while you're getting 99 yeah. yeah. Yeah, it'd be cool to be top page uh, UIM. That would be pretty cool. And it'll be done on only rune essence also. Ooh. Ooh. Are you going to overtake Min in uh, mining? Did that, what does he have, like 36 mil or something? He's like 30. I don't know. I haven't done the math, but so I'm going to guess probably not. I'm also going to collect Ring of Fort, uh, Ruby Rings noted from random events the whole way. Maybe get some uh, good EXP and smithing afterwards. So uh, uh, your your intentions are to, to take first free-to-play uh, three combat Iron Man to 99 Iron Man. Correct. Are you going to... Yeah. Do you think you're going to be able to do like First in general, or do you think 400J has got that in the bag? I uh, know it's in the bag. 400J, he's yeah. like he has like 10 million XP. I haven't even checked in a while. I'm gonna look him up right now. Uh, he has like 10 million XP right now. There's no way I can get him. Is he still Maybe playing a lot? Yeah, he he's, yeah he plays so it's freaking. He plays like Scott from Austria and hours, so you don't see. I don't ever see him online. If you're up late, you'll see him. He's on a 46 week. I guess that's a little inflated though, because he's got yeah, yeah. Cause bodies bank banked. Essence. Yeah, or essence banked. Cool. Um, I guess we can. Uh, Akiji, <laughs> what are your what are your plans? What are my goals? Yeah, what are your plans on RuneScape? What are, I know you. Uh, uh, you <laughs> are you gonna quit? Are you gonna quit the 69 level 69 only? Or are you gonna move on to something else, bigger and better? I mean. I've, I've never really played this game like most <laughs> efficient skiller. I have different goals and objectives. And uh, really, I just kind of like talking to people and like doing weird methods. And I try to keep up with uh, like what's going on with the game. Like what kind of, I'm not a fan of botting, I don't condone it. But I like to see what new bots come to the game. I like to see how they react, um, how the game gets changed through updates. That's what I'm interested in. So I really kind of speaking of Venezuelans has been my call recently. And I'm just talking to, I, I know. It's ridiculous, but just talking to the Venezuelans you find around free to play. There's two sects. There's people that play pay to play once you can buy a bond, and there's actually a small community of Venezuelans who are solely free to play. So I mean, just getting to meet people and hearing their stories is more interesting to me than maybe grinding up to a mil of skill. So just keep on keeping on is kind of my goal. If that makes sense. Heartwarming. Fair enough. What? So like, uh, I know we were talking about this before, like. Could uh, any of these free to play Venezuelans like make it onto the free to play EHP high scores just because how high their stats are? Or yeah, anything? so there's two types of players um, in Venezuela. There's players who grind out one thing and they kind of just like stick to what they know. So you'll see people with 91 mining, mining iron with like a mithril pickaxe. And if you tell them in Spanish, yo, runes better, they're just going to trust you and do it. And then there's players who are, like I said, just kind of sent around getting pawns so they can make more money. Um, they seem to be getting smarter and more efficient, and I think part of this is because of the community around Venezuela, they're making guides, tutorials for themselves online on YouTube. Tanner's seen these, we've all seen these, and I'll suggest. So, I mean, they're getting more efficient. I don't mean to talk about them, like, they're distanced. They're, they're real people in a pretty struggling country, but they're getting smarter, so I don't see any reason why not. I mean, if these people are mining iron all day, or if they're mining night, I can see them catching up to large gains and high scores, but I don't think there's be much efficiency there. They kind of there's kind of cut here. Yeah. That's okay. Yeah. Um I mean so uh Tanner says uh you're gonna go for uh ten K Obor kills or no no, no it was Bryo, sorry. Bryo kills. Right? Uh, I mean that's that's that that's after um two thousand Obor Casey, which is um rank one because there's a free-to-play Iron Man named Patriot, and she has oh, 2,070 overkills. So I want to pass that, wow. and then I'll just do Bryo all the way. Hmm. So you're gonna do you know like? If... Sorry, go ahead. You first, you first one. Okay. okay. Do you know if she got her keys in the wilderness, or was she doing the regular hill giant? Dungeon? She did a regular hill giant. Oh, Max wow. Melee's wow. And, um, range. I'm gonna do the same too. I'm gonna do it in edge hill dungeon. Oh. Lose the whole way. So, uh, you said you're also gonna do 10k clues with 10k Bryo, right? 
Well, I, I didn't really know. Like, <laughs> I, mean, I didn't really know how clues worked back then. Tanner, you, you, put, you put it in words, man. Yeah, you put it on Twitter. So I only, I only have like 250 done so far, and like more than half is from juggling. I think I could, because I think I'm getting more clues done than Obor. So if I end up getting like 10k Bryo, then I think I'll get 10k um, beginner clues if I juggle all the way. Speaking of clues, uh, I haven't really looked at the free-to-play clue high scores in a while, but it appears somebody named Oz Sesh is number one now. Yeah, the Australian guy. 718, yeah. and then I have 10 GP, Dan, I guess. Dan's and him are close. Yeah. Back from the dead. <laughs> I, actually got, I actually got him featured on uh, his clan featured on free to play that week, So We're all 427. <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. But yeah, it, it also appears I have 10 GP is back from the dead. If you know him, he was a pretty high level free to play player back in the day, like really high level. Um, he was like up with there with disciple probably at some point, <clears throat> but he's uh, kind of quit for a while. Him and um, him and Netbook are kind of uh, a rarity, I guess, because they're both from this. I I don't know. To me, I, it's not that peculiar, but to me, it's kind of a peculiar country to be from and playing runescape they're from uh malta i believe Dots. so kind of interesting anyway um uh one moment okay so oh god there's more questions uh what's up when agility is released for free to play then would you try to get 299 slash 200 mil as first um, I guess I can answer this one. Uh, I'd probably, yeah, I'd probably go for 99 right away. Um, I don't know. I was saying this like before the podcast started, like, I feel like I'm trying to like not, uh, support agility in any way at the moment, but like if it did come out, I mean, I obviously would train it. I'm not going to just ignore the fact that it exists. <laughs> I mean, Freckle has a different opinion than that. <laughs> if you want to go ahead with that I will um, <laughs> I'm going to ignore it um, all the way until I have to do a skill where agility benefits me in any way and the whole time I do it I'm going to come out even if no one's around to hear if it, if it comes out so that's a skill Wait, for a kid, didn't you say you're going to like do like um didn't you say you're gonna bury bone? You can do that while doing agility. Yeah, yeah that's not gonna happen. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll do it. I'll, I'll... Well, the thing is, Tanner, you're not a regular account, so you probably. Well, I have a regular it. account. Doesn't, Doesn't count. count. Yeah. I uh, yes. I have like 55 prayer all zero time on a regular account. Think wow. about that. Wow. 55. <laughs> that's like 100,000 XP. Wow. Yeah. Wow. That's crazy. Wow, wow. you've done. Two hours. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's all from like testing. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Prayer, zero time. Clearly. I don't know. Like, T tested by the one and only Tanner Dino. Tanner Dino. Anybody yeah, else? I don't know what was the question. Would you train, or when agility is released for free to play, <laughs> then would you try to get 99 or 200 mil? Oh, as first, I missed that part. Uh, I don't know if I'd get 200 mil right away. I'm not too sure. And uh, you'd have to get uh, 99 whenever it came out. Because, That's, uh, yep. You would have to get 99 first. Or is that what you're saying? 400 mil. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, I, 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 don't know. I think so. I'd never be the first person. Min level is still around, so. Yeah. Ooh. That's pretty. I don't know do if guys, I would uh, be able to last against Min. Do you guys want to place a, a maybe a 1GP bet on who gets it first? I'm going to take Eurydice. I'm going to take the off guard. He said, he, said he won't do the agility. I asked. No, he will. He will. Are you, are you sure? You're All right, so everybody, everybody place, place, place your wager. I got 1GP on Eurydice. I uh, know. That's uh, RWT, isn't it? 
no, no, that is oh, no it's it's within the game. That's more like dicing, like gambling, in-game gambling. Yeah, it's unfortunately, you can't bet on things. You can't. All right, well, is that I'll a game roll? Hypothetical wager. I'll I'll go for 99 agility when it comes out. Hopefully, it comes out during the summer because then I can play like Eurydice, you know, play all day. <laughs> I want to be the first gray home at least. I'm pretty sure Cold Fingers will beat me, but I want to get 99 so I can test all the methods again. Yeah, to just I don't know. I just popped in my head like this is something that everybody would be on an even playing field. Like no matter like what your account limitations are, so that's kind of that's kind of scary. Like Very I can't nice. imagine going up against min level skill. Like if he had a if he had a regular account, he'd be he'd be a uh, pretty good shot at first turn ball free to play but unfortunately he's like the least you know or like the most limited account that could possibly exist so yeah i'm pretty sure agility would be the only like not counting zero time skills it would be like the only free to play skills that are on the same playing field this, yeah, I, I agree with that this might be the weirdest thing to bring up because people are trying to like say who they think is going to get 99 agility first I think Jebrim will. No, oh, I already That's asked Jebrim a few months ago, and yeah. he said no. No? no. Okay. Yeah, he said no. I, was like, oh, I just I thought that would be something that he would be like, like oh, it's in really free-to-play, I'm going to yeah. come back and crush out 99 in free-to-play. <laughs> but if he's not willing to come back to the game, then I have no idea who. Well, I, I have an idea because, you know, my, my, fr my friend from RS3... Man of Nap, you know, you know him. He, he would he would do everything to get first. I'm sure if he wants to. So, but he, he is quite uh, interested in that. If they make a jewel free to play, then he may actually try hard to get it as first. Excuse me. He may go for two hundred mil. No. <laughs> <laughs> Please tell me I'm near Nap. I'm not gonna play old school. He actually may. If if agility uh, is free to play, he may try hard to get for, go go for first. Uh, first uh, play in agility. Wow. We'll definitely play if they make well the next agility course. Then we'll have fun. <laughs> Why don't you want Manir Nap to play free to play pause? pause. Too much competition. <laughs> oh, you don't, don't want competition, do you? I'd rather be up against a guy who AFK spiders than Manir Nap. <laughs> it's up for it's up for competition, but in case of agility, you know, he didn't start. Uh, when oh, he was busy when the, you know all screen escape was released. Oh, busy huh? for free to play. For free to play, I mean. Uh, so, so, but right now he probably would just go for it, and if it's free to play, and ask him. <laughs> Is he still playing at all? Like R three at all or old school? What's going on? Yeah, he's playing. We are also doing uh, some PVM in all screen escape. Oh, okay. Yeah, we are having fun. Yeah. Nice. I guess we have another question. Have you ever been banned in RS? Um, no. No. <laughs> yeah. Great question. <laughs> no, I was my. Uh, those last two questions were mine. Yeah, about agility and this one. I was wondering whether you are cheaters or not. So yeah. That's <laughs> <cool>. <laughs> You know, uh, to be honest, Akiji is being kind of quiet over there. I don't know if. Uh... Uh, yeah. yeah, he's uh, he's, he's hiding behind. Hiding behind um, the curtain. I've I've been banned on multiple accounts. I've been banned on <laughs> one main account and a few meals. I I tend to play the game in the GP oriented fashion. Mm -hmm. Um, so I'm not necessarily going for skills. I'm going for money, and I always have, and I probably always will. So, when you do that, there's some opportunities such as dicing or other uh, ways to make money. And that's that's how I got banned. I've never cheated or have any thanks for botting or whatnot, so not that account. Okay. He just uh, takes advantage of business situations and RuneScape. No big deal. I mean, if you have a max cash stack, you can merge it and make about $40 tonight. I'm not encouraging rule trading, but... <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. You are. Sorry, never mind. Cut that, cut that. <laughs> I mean, but that would pay for all your meals for the next day and a few beers, so no, no. <laughs> all right. <laughs> oh, Lord. Any other band? 
I got banned on uh, back in RS2 on a on an old account for an offensive name. Ooh, what was it? It was uh, it had the word Jew in the name. <laughs> it wasn't like an offensive. It wasn't in an offensive way. I don't hate Jewish people or anything like that. Okay. It just it just happened to have Jew in the name. Oh, it was like just a made up name that had uh just had Jew in it. I, right. It's not that big of a deal. I mean, I I was banned. I tried to appeal it and it got denied. So it went listen. I was bummed no. because I had drop traded a bunch of money from one of my accounts to that account and we got banned. I lost like two hundred k. Now it's something that uh, comes to mind that we we're talking about uh, the other day. Um, with Dan's and Kiji, we we're talking about uh, TFS and RS3 free to play. Uh, I think all three of us, Dan, Kiji, and I, have all been in TFS at some point. I was in TFS too. Were you really? And frack, and frack. Oh my god. You? Yep. What about uh, have you ever been in TFS, Barto? Can no. you repeat? <laughs> have you ever been in TFS? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You have? Okay. Hey, wow. He's the only one. Wow. Tanner's the only one. I don't Tanner think Tanner was, like was born yet. Old. So, <laughs> Tanner yeah. was like eight. He's, he's playing blocks. I'm pretty fair. Oh my I'm god. Pretty, I'm pretty sure I would have been in there before a lot of other people would have been there. Would have. Yeah. So like, what time? The, the time frame I was in there would have been like when S Diamond Y was rank one in free to play. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So quite a long time ago. But yeah, TFS was uh, quite quite popular since 2008 or so. Mm. Mm. I think it really picked up in 08, 09 with TFS. Yeah, I, I was in there like 2011, so I was, I guess, a little bit late to the party. I remember when you started playing for TFS, man. I remember, sorry, I don't mean to like, reminisce, but I, I do remember having you around TFS. As well. Were you there for my 99 cooking party? Um, I'm not sure, but I do remember the players. If you're listening to this, sure, for her. Fresh smash, Sizzigy. What's up, boys? It's been like six years. How you doing? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Next, next question. Um, I guess we can move on to Akiji's pr proposed questions. Uh, <laughs> this is interesting. If if you could only eat one food from RuneScape for the rest of your life, which one would you choose? Good question. Whoever whoever said that, that's a great question. Mm -hmm. What about you, Akiji? Right, I'll go. I'll go. Okay, Frack, where do you go first? first? Yeah. I can, I can answer this. Potatoes, man. Just plain potatoes? Wait. Well, you could do, like, boring? anything with potatoes. Oh, yeah, they are. Never mind. So instead of Iron Man, it's Ireland mode? <laughs> ah, <laughs> that's a knee slapper. <laughs> yeah, potatoes, man. Yeah, it's French the fries. most key thing. You can cook them so many different ways. You could mash potatoes you bake could potatoes. bake potatoes you could make them into fries if you wanted to like boom it's the most versatile item in runescape <laughs> all right I'll, I'll go i'll go all right i'd either have pizza or kebab what kind of pizza though yeah. there's certain kinds of pizza i don't know and wait, pizza wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. i don't know if i like anchovy akiji is this limited to free to play yes it's limited to free to play okay so you gotta choose the free to play one too yeah, I just chose two treats for once. Anchovy oh. pizza? I mean, it heals the most, but I don't know if I really like anchovies, so maybe meat pizza. So meat yeah. pizza. I mean, there's only three kebab. options, so. <laughs> yeah. All right. Next. Um, I guess I would choose chicken. That sounds good. Dang. It's pretty solid. Like chicken. Pretty solid. I think rat meat would be pretty great. Oh, I know yeah. it, it just becomes cooked meat once you're on rat meat. <laughs> rat meat, uncooked rat. <laughs> yeah, uncooked rat meat sounds great. Oh, Maybe no. rat tail that spawns yeah, in trainer man. Freckled, 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 freckled would like some burnt. Burnt. I know that. Is it because right. of uh, The good old collection, yes. Oh, good point. Yeah, I would I'd say, probably. Yeah, what do you know. think, Pronto? Okay, I would eat probably I don't know. I like I like fish, so maybe salmon. Salmon like are quite expensive in Poland, so yeah, it's but it's very tasty, so yeah, I'll probably go for it. 
It's a good choice. Good choice. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Dance. I was gonna say chicken. Also, yeah. Yeah, everybody, everybody, likes, everybody likes chicken, you know. Hmm. Or bread. Bread would have been a solid choice. Bread, bread oh, is a solid choice. Oh. Damn, that's yeah. a fire. Yeah. <laughs> Bread would have been the maybe, best. <laughs> maybe wine, just wine would be great. <laughs> wine. <laughs> it's beer. gonna lower my nose. So. That's crazy. Like <laughs> just all beer. The, all the drinks in fruit light is either like alcohol or like like drug. Like think about it. What? Like, what did he say? I don't I don't call any wine. drugs in fruit light. No. Yeah, yeah, like what? Like, like enhancements. I meant. Oh, okay. Like, potions. We got. We have like one got, potion. We we have three. Oh. Actually. Plus, Plus the potion, the potion. potion. Oh yeah, yeah, the potion. Four. Potion. Well, there's also there's <laughs> also like cadaver potion. potion. There's also oh, a, yeah. Can you get vial water? No, actually not. Like... What? So. <laughs> actually, there's wines and then there's beer. There's all the weird brews like all that shit like wizards my mind and dwarf and stuff oh yeah good point as garnian dates it's garnian i was garnian and ale that's what i would drink like there's no actual drinks ale, ale of the gods my is that opinion. like the ipa of runescape <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't get it nice oh wait there's rum too and there's shit that's rum. Yeah. yeah the rum yeah boy <laughs> Maybe some good stuff smuggle it yeah, be like probably Cuban rum. <laughs> Shout out to my <laughs> Okay. Right, what's the next question? It's a similar question. It says, uh, if you could take any item from Free to Play to IRL with the same functionality, what would it be? Ooh. Mm. That's a good question. It is. This one's hard. I had the answer for pay to play, but I don't have the answer for free to play. Huh. My items are rather useless, so I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know. S single use items are very like strange in the free to play to yeah. think of. You kind of need multiple of the things. It. Yeah. The Chronicle. Actually, no. it's kind of neat. You could, like, if you were to pick law runes, you could teleport around. Well, you don't have anything else to be able to teleport. Any errors of fire? Yeah. Right. So. It's it's kind of a difficult question. For like a single item, I'm trying to think about this. Uh, yeah, that's a good question. It's gotta be something. Yeah, I, I guess just don't energy know what potion the heck it would be. Maybe a hammer <laughs> would be kind of cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you can't get a hammer in real or a life. Chisel. Jeez. Oh, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe man. Rune, rune ore. <laughs> pretty expensive RL since it doesn't exist. Man, like. like and an bars, like, cut diamond in real life would be oh, so worth so much for the size. What do they weigh? What do they weigh in game? Because then we can calculate the carrots on it. You know how big they are in the ground. That's, that's a good. good that's, that's a good, that's a good point. point. But how much do they weigh? We can multiply the kilogram. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> but it's it's interesting. I don't know. Ah, oh, there's girl. I do clues girl. Wouldn't you? Wouldn't it say like? What'd you say? He's gonna get like leather van braces as a reward if you ask for a clue scroll. <laughs> wouldn't, wouldn't it just say like go dig an Alcarid and then you'd be like, well, can't do this. There's no Alcarid. Oh. Right? Damn. Yeah. Well, wait, what? What's some clues I can actually do? Yeah. You can't. They're all like location based. Uh, right? I don't know. I'm cold. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> It would just be cold Maybe. forever because RuneScape doesn't exist. Maybe yeah, a, a, a cape because everybody loves to run capes. Yeah. Ooh. You know what? I've, I've got the answer for myself. Oh, yeah, I think also have to go on first for a An imbued skull scepter. Yes, I understand I would only be able to get three teleports out of it, but that is three teleports. I don't know. It's going to teleport me somewhere. Maybe. The stronghold of security, so it's gonna take me to jail. <laughs> I don't know. I think uh, I would take Elvark's head because it would be an unidentified species and it'd be worth a lot of money. Ooh. That's so, bad so bad that boys. bad idea. That boys. Unidentified. Species. Probably take this this snow making machine. I don't know how it's called from Halloween even. 
Oh, no Halloween, uh, from a Christmas, Christmas event. Yeah, Christmas. yeah so, so unlimited water, I would be way. able to do some uh, some things in real life and in critics. Genius. <laughs> oh man, right. I wish I would have thought of that. Bring, Bring the, the snow, snow globe, globe with, with you. you. Yeah. That's not <laughs> a bad idea. All right, next question. Yep. Okay. I mean, while it would be also very fun to just get unlimited amount of snow. Exactly. Ooh. Yeah, you can just go to places where it doesn't snow and just bring snow to them. <laughs> I don't think just I understand Shut down this. their entire city. If you could use any spell once a day from free-to-play, dot, dot, dot. What does that mean? So the, like, like everybody spell from a spell 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 book? Yeah. Yeah, from a standard free-to-play spell book. Once a day? Once a day. Home teleport? Like in real life yep. or in real in real life. Oh, okay. High Complete. Elk. High Elk, bro. I know you say high elk, but you'd only get the value it's worth. So if you elk your iPhone, you get five hundred GP. Like it's oh, not we, like we we talked about this. We talked about this though. You still buy things off the grand exchange, etc., for a cheaper price than what you elk it for. So you could make money every single day by using your high elk daily. Yeah, you could right. It might not be a ton, but you'd find I think the banana is worth I mean, Bo's banana is like Tanner said, it's pretty, pretty great. Yeah. <laughs> Bo's to bananas, that's what Tanner would do. That's the, that's the ultimate vegan uh, spell right there. <laughs> Shout out to my boy Snooze Button. You just had to kill the animal first. Oh gosh. Maybe Bind would be interesting. <laughs> Could you imagine? <laughs> I'm, I'm looking through the spells right now, and I can't uh, think about I'm tempted it. to say Confuse or Weekend, but that just sounds evil. I, I do Telebot. Hey. Telekinetic <laughs> Grab. Oh, that would be useful. I, yeah. Crumble Probably. on deck would be useful. Oh, yes, that's that. That's it, that's it pause. Telekinetic Grab. That's yeah. the best one. Yeah, nice. Yeah, that is definitely one of the best ones. I, I, I still like Bardo's idea with Home Teleport, because then it's like... <laughs> Yeah, as don't drive as, home from if, work. Just if you only can do it, if you can only do it one time a day, it's like you just saved yourself travel time. Yeah, but you'd leave your car at yeah. work. Oh yeah, that's unless you walk to work. That's <laughs> that would whatever. Defeat I don't know. Car time. carpool with a friend. <laughs> yeah. and you teleport home. Like that's perfect. <laughs> what if you could go to work? Right. I don't think there's a teleport to work spell in RuneScape Tanner. We. <laughs> We, yeah, are, we play RuneScape, you realize that, right? We don't have jobs. What the hell are you thinking? Or, I don't know, just like... <sighs> That's a difficult one. I don't mean to be the asshole here, but like... Fire Blast would be pretty cool in some sort of situation. Water Blast, you know, water. Think about it. You don't have to pay the water bill. Mm, AKG resorts to murder. <laughs> hey, no, I didn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, what's the next question? Alright, which single item from members would ruin the free-to-play meta the most, if introduced? And it, it cannot be Max Cake. Oh, I know, for, I know yeah, what you're thinking. You were gonna say that I know, to me. It can't be... It, um, I'll, I'll go ahead and say Ring of Life. I mean, I feel that, that feels useful. It'd be nice if I'm about to die, just go home. But, um, that'd be great. Oh wait, this is the free-to-play meta. Should I, I just do yeah, we're play meta. <laughs> I think it would be for Iron Man. It would be like medium clue scrolls or something, or hard clues. Probably medium, but for regs, it would be like ring of dueling or like something like that, or like yeah. a dragon pickaxe, something. Ring of wealth would be interesting. Can it can it be a functionality or is it happy an item? Uh, let's just one item. Of item. I think that's okay. Easier. Um. Hmm. I've got it. What's that? Skill capes. I was thinking yeah. that, but... Which skill cape? Skill capes as a whole, but if I can't put plural on it, then I'll have to think of a different item. If the, if the crafting guild deposit box or bank worked, if you have the crafting right. yeah. guild... That's, that's, a, that's a functionality, KG. Oh, yeah, yeah, question. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, come on! Hmm. I don't know what single pay-to-play item would be the most... Cannon, there you go. 
Yeah, okay, that'd be the eight. most detrimental to the true. free to play meta. Are you, are you supposed to get it? You have to do the quest. Yeah, you can't, you can't, you can't get it's it. Man. Functionality. I suppose. Well, Super if, combat. if it doesn't come down to the functionality of the item, then nothing changes. <laughs> if it's just a cosmetic item, then who cares? <laughs> right? So obviously the functionality has to have something to do with it. I mean, I DDS would be pretty... Or like a spec attack weapon. I'm assuming functionality at this point. Like, you can use the item. Hmm. Yeah. Any combat weapon that is overpowered, like Dragon Claw. Oh, oh my goodness. Yeah. I uh, I have my answer. I think uh, flared trousers would ruin the free-to-play fashion skate meta. <laughs> Absolutely. Maybe the cavalier hat would be awful. Yeah. Like the, uh, the fedora. <laughs> oh, that Ooh, that's, <laughs> that's a better, better answer. Uh, we can all be fedora neck beards. Nice. We can be more representative of our, of our real life selves. Yes. Yeah. All right. Who has the next question? What do you see Jax adding to the game next that has potential to ruin Freeland? Uh, <laughs> Freeland. Ruin next? span. Oh my goodness. Oh. Yeah. Oh no, not ruin span. Bardo, get out of here with that meme. <laughs> you know, it will eventually come to this. No. Nah, like, you know, but I, I just know. know. Great ore project might. Great ore project would be phenomenal. Jagex, if you're listening. Think GOP, please bring it back. That was the best mini game of all time. I, I don't need the teleport tabs to the altars. I just want the robes. I just want the game. I just want the robes. I want the That's game and the robes. That's all. The robes. I didn't really like the mini game that much, to be honest. Oh, the mini game was also, amazing. If you were good at it, that's an incredible bonus. Yeah, if you're good at the game, it's so fun. fun. Yeah, the talisman stabs were like best in slot for one attack. Accounts. Yeah, I guess. that was kind of cool. Wait, can you go on the altars with the talisman stab? Yep. Yeah. So you didn't have to wear it. You can you can uh, wear a regular tiara, and they can bring. That's like one <laughs> tiara per trip, dude. That's overpowered. Oh my goodness. Yeah, because you're gonna have that extra talisman in your inventory. <laughs> yeah, because we have 29 inventory slots, right, Tanner? <laughs> yeah, Tanner. Yeah, it doesn't change anything, Tanner. It just <laughs> makes you wear something else cosmetic on your head. I know those things were better than Mithril Scimitars, though, the Talisman Staffs. Like, those, those were damn good for a while. Yeah, they were, they were really good. I just loved the minigame in itself. It was a really fun game to play, like, with other people. It was just awesome, because the meta was to basically stand adjacent from one another in the altar and just, like, feed each other the orbs. And you'd get ridiculous scores if you were actually good at like the various angles in the mini game. I yeah. I would literally be playing that nonstop if it was in old school right now. It was so and I mean we don't need the talismans as rewards, we don't need the I don't uh, need staff any the teleport. Things. I mean it would be nice <laughs> if there was talisman. a source of talismans coming into the game, to be fair. So, so yeah, actually nice. uh, shout out to Dance Potato who's on the podcast. I think your beginner <laughs> clue scroll should feature body talismans. If anybody's listening, I think that's <laughs> Or Earth Talisman would be the number one. Like the the next way that Jagex could ruin the game would be adding talismans uh, to some way for Iron Man <laughs> to get without combat game. For me personally, uh, I could see it happening. I definitely see it. I think they would only add it if people ask for it, but no one's gonna ask for it. I mean, KG <laughs> might ask. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> loading. Okay. Anybody yeah. else? We're good. I think Kiji's bitter that they ruined uh, his old account build. <laughs> the embraces for the, uh, <laughs> the beginner push roll drop table. So I was trying to take that on other people. Yeah, I'm trying to just ruin that meta for everybody. Fair update by JX recently. Um, I think the uh, the random camera movement thing that was removed. It was probably my favorite update of all time. Yeah. Or moves. That wasn't very recent, but... Well, that, there's no other recent updates that I liked, so... <laughs> <laughs> You've been doing clues. I, they're okay, but, like, I wish they were in the game. In free-to-play. 
Doesn't mean I. Oh jeez, I don't even know the last update that was good. Briar Fida. No, Anyone? that's trash. <laughs> um, I'm just excited for chicken. I think the last good update of free to play was just actually a general update that was uh, where they fixed backwalking. I think this was like back <laughs> in 2014. Uh, it was an update that they fixed backwalking uh, while you were pathing somewhere. And I think that was the best update they've ever done to the game. I know, so far. Yeah, so far. <laughs> so... Backwalking was nice. <laughs> oh, you like that? <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh... Go memories from backwalking. <laughs> <laughs> it was just I, I so funny to me. You'd be running one direction, yeah. then all of a sudden your character would just take like three <laughs> steps backwards. <laughs> and you'd be like, what the hell is happening? Yeah, I remember like clicking on uh, Drainer Bank and then clicking on the Willow Tree and then you like yeah. do a moonwalk to the, the bank. That was kind of fun. Mm -hmm. You could also yeah. abuse it pretty much. I had this thought in my mind exactly. Yeah, that was a funny scenario with backwalking, but I mean, it was just a... It was a very big nuisance with like rune crafting and things like that for players, because yeah. you'd just be walking somewhere and then all of a sudden you'd start walking backwards. Yeah. Do you guys yeah, remember the uh, the stopwatch from RS3 that will, like will make you like glitch places? Do you guys remember this? So like delay your moving time, wrinkle pause. Do you remember from the uh, Alcrid game? There's a lot so of weird stuff all about uh, abusing glitches in uh, RuneScape. <laughs> Oh, it was interesting. Hmm. Oh, we have another question coming in. Uh oh, it's being typed as we speak. Anything you wish Jagex for Jagex to add? Um, I think they should add old school, old school RuneScape. Ooh, yeah. And then not update it. <laughs> Sounds good. Think about it. If they have a bunch of like stupid, dumb updates, then we're just venturing closer to old school, old school RuneScape. It's actually good that they're making all these dumb updates. Think about it. Yeah, maybe a uh, rewind poll where you can just redo the last update if enough people hate it. Yeah. <laughs> it's time to rewind. <laughs> yeah, seeing as uh, they don't have the capability to roll back until something catastrophic happens. Um, yeah. <laughs> nice, nice one. Nice meme. Uh, if they could add anything, I'd have to say just the Great Orb Project. I'd be content with that. One thing I'd What kind of robes did you go out with? Oh, sorry. What robes would I go from God? Yeah. It's oh, a blue, geez. green, and yellow, right? I think green yeah. is the best. I, I think green looked the best, but a lot of people went with yellow. I like yellow. Yeah. And I think I did we goggles on? Goggles on, goggles off. What's the move? Goggles off. Okay, that was the same. Oh, yeah. Goggles off for sure. Alright, what are you saying, Tanner? Alright, one thing I'd want to add is the ice giant bot. That would be <laughs> So I can get another 1000 KC boss after I'm done with um, Obor. Be cool if the ice giant boss was in the wilderness and it was like in uh, just like. That's the top left. The top yeah, like left. Yeah. Forty-seven wilderness. That'd be so fun. Yeah. They need to make it multi. That'd be kind of cool. Yeah. That's <laughs> they, actually. They can they can adapt the block is free to play. Because whenever what? this been whenever this has been proposed, I've always thought of the idea of it being as in the Asgardian dungeon or whatever the yeah. heck it's called. Dungeon. Yeah. There is but, ice giants back there though in the wilderness, so it makes yeah, sense. Yeah. Yeah. I I didn't even think about that as an idea for the boss. I think that would be genius. I feel like if they should make all the ice world. I feel like if it was a deep wildy, they wouldn't have to have like a key system because it would be like no. harder to yeah, fly. Yeah, because if you go out there, you're going out there. It's, well, you know, they yeah. could have like a like a gate, not necessarily like a like an instanced area, I guess. I don't know. I think they should keep it open and just let teams try to do it. Yeah, make I mean, it multi, but cool. then the ice giants attack all at yeah, once. Yeah, have like so all cool. of the NPCs attack you at the same time. That'd, cool. That'd definitely be the hardest. What would the, uh, I guess you'd pray melee, but, um, and there's an altar right here. magic since the ice giants are weak to magic. What would it drop though? What, what uniques would it? Uh, I think it... probably according to the ice giant, um, drop table. 
uh, like, a, like a noted 10 bananas, maybe? <laughs> noted 10 wines of Zamorak. Noted body wine. talismans. Ooh, yeah, that's good. Maybe a power amulet or a body, yeah, body talismans rolling. That's good. A rune yeah. scimitar? Yeah, rune scimitar. I think the only reason why. <laughs> rune axe. <laughs> rune axe, rune scimitar, you know, the basics. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> everything to rune noted, for Iron Man. Noted water talismans would be pretty cool. They should make it so you can get a scroll from the boss so you can. Get pay to play? No, you get tele. No, you get tele. <laughs> you get a bond. You get a, that would be cool. You get a bond. Dude, a scroll to unlock tele block? Actually, you know what, Tanner? That's not, not a terrible idea. They're not ever going to do it, but that'd be cool. That, that's, that's that'd be a good money, money too for the game, for the economy. Maybe. I mean, the only reason why bosses have, like, keys and stuff is because people. If, the rewards would have to be like really bad because people could just keep on farming it unless it was like in the wilderness or something. So you can avoid the key yeah. system that everyone complains about. Like, oh, I can't get a bunch of, I can't farm it like that well because I have to get keys. It's because like, yeah, yeah. yeah, if they That's... put it in the wilderness, uh, I think that would be kind of cool to avoid the key system. Yeah, the key system is interesting. Do you guys think there would be a pet in free to play? I mean, if the way things are going, it's looking like we're going to get some introductory pet. I mean, I who knows where it'll be. I can, I can, I can see, see it pretty clear. It's like, if you want more pets to blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I see it coming. Yeah, there's just going to be more, like, tons of teasers in the game. It's just going to be annoying. I mean, there's pets in RS3, and a lot of people have the logic, logic of, like, oh, since it's an RS3, it should be in old school. Kind of like Fletching. Everyone's like, oh, Fletching's in RS3. Why can't we have it? Like, people will say stuff like that. But I think yeah. pets would be like too pay to play like for my taste. And especially since I do a lot of free to play boxing, um, I couldn't get a few pets. Maybe if I out them. On a, on a side note here, I really dislike how Reddit has adopted this precedent that uh, things should be taken from RS3 free to play into yeah. old school free to play. Like, that's a great idea. Like,. It just or, bugs me. Or do you know what else? Do you, what else bugs, bugs me? Like people are like, oh, it, since it's not the best in slot item and pay to play, it should be free to play. Like, people say that all the time, it's, especially yeah. on Reddit. It's I don't really like it. There used to be this guy named uh, Shout Out Ashley Free to Play. He used to voice a bunch of shitty suggestions on Reddit about how <laughs> different various pay to play things should become free to play because nobody used them. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, trouble brewing. A miserable idea. <laughs> trouble brewing. It's a herb lore mini game. Yeah, that's genius. Let's make that free to play. <laughs> All right. Um, does anybody else have any more questions, or should we end this thing? No. No. Those against. Is you working? I'm sorry. Uh. <laughs> what? I'm just saying, like, it's summertime. We're about to see some serious gains, a lot of new players. It's you think summer. so? Yeah, dude. The spring break rush, you always get a bunch of people. During the summer, you always get a bunch of new people playing. All right. Hmm. I mean, come on. That, like, that's a phenomenon. We've seen that happen many times. You think, like, new players, or you mean, like, current players are going to start playing more? I think new players and current players kind of turn up the heat a little bit. Because, I mean, it's summer. I mean, these kids have nothing to do anymore. And they turn up the heat during summer? Yeah. Uh -huh. Speaking of summer, ha uh ha. -huh. If, if agility comes out in summer, I'm gonna, I'm gonna push for the first to get 99 agility. Oh, you heard it here first, everybody. Tanner's word. Cold, cold fingers. Tanner, no, Tanner's gonna get it. No, no, you have to do it now. You can't fucking back down. Yep. I mean, I might zero time prayer. Yeah, it doesn't mean anything. You're gonna get it. Nope. No. From the bones. From. No. Nope. See at the top. See at the top, baby. <laughs> no. I want to see. I'll, uh, I'll stop the top. Stop doing obor. And then do. All right. Play. I. Yeah. He's gonna stop doing obor too. Wow. Okay. Holy I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go back to it. I think before Tanner digs a deeper hole, I think we should end the podcast here. <laughs> <laughs> um, hope hope you all enjoyed. Um, we'll talk to you later. Subscribe. Smash that like button. Smash it for pause. Subscribe.
Turn on the bye. notifications. Smash it. Turn Smash those notifications on. Dislike get that, button, get that ring. <laughs> Smash <laughs> the dislike <Like>. button. <laughs> careful, yeah. man. Careful. Subscribe for a free giveaway. Actually. Oh, oh, no, fuck. Oh, don't forget about the free to play down wiki. Free to play wiki. Yeah, guys. Uh, the, <laughs> the limited time, <laughs> limited time <laughs> pause poster is available. In the I guess, uh, <laughs> you know what? One more thing. Sorry before you guys say goodbye completely. I. Uh, I think I might come out with this uh, free to play wiki shirt sometime soon. Um, perhaps when I release this video, it will be out. So check the description. Pause. So. What's the font on those shirts, man? Those were Fresca. Culture. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure proceeds go to the website developer as well. Yes, fifty percent. So. Yes. So. So. Uh, I might be able to work to out a deal. With uh, Tommy, like maybe he'll do something for you if you buy a shirt. We'll see. I don't know. I haven't talked to him about that yet. So, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, thank you guys for watching once again and goodbye. Bye. Bye. Bye, well, bye now. I thought you were, didn't your ex girlfriend come over or something? She did. She brought me gifts. Oh. Sweet. Like, like memes? Free stuff, dude. Yeah, like moving pictures. <laughs> Yes. Like huh? Jeff versus Gif. He's dropping stuff off on at his house on on uh, her way to her new uh, boyfriend. Yeah, house. Chad. His name's Chad. Or I think it's more. I think it's like Geef or Chief. I, I used to say G I F and just play it safe. It's it's Gif. I just say graphical right, are you sure about format. that? I mean, we, I think we should save this for the podcast, the discussion. I think everybody's heard this argument too many times. <laughs> I really just want to focus on abortion the first like half hour. <laughs> think about all the abortions. It's going to be far less free to play players. I mean, it's going to be all. <laughs> oh my God. Alrighty. All right. Anyways. In real life, it actually means like changing tires. <laughs> that is what it means in real life. No, no, no. I thought it was like when you uh, shoot a basketball and it goes around. Yeah, it goes around. Oh, yeah. Uh, wait, must is, be I, is it, what's a like a rim shot? Like when a when a, like a like a drum drum like type of thing? Or you like a, a rim fire? shot is a type of like a rifle ammo. It means when the hammer of the gun strikes the rim of the bullet, it fires instead of a center strike. Rim Ooh. shot. Okay, is that yeah. a euphemism? No, no. It's, it's like just. Actual terms. <laughs> Poor bargain. Yeah, you can't hey, you fucking East Coast. You know, you guys don't understand fucking guns like like a key you know, I do. You know? <laughs> oh no, rim shot is the doo -doo -ch noise as well. Doo -doo -ch. Uh -oh. Ah. <laughs> I have like no hands. Was that uh, what, a, what a rim job sounds like? <laughs> Towards the end. Towards the end. Oh, that's like after you everybody. Did. Everybody loves a everybody loves a rim job. So yeah, like it's that's not even the... In the game yet. Why would I love it if it's not even in the game? When you talk to the mayor of Remington, that's what the noise <laughs> makes sense. <laughs>